Hello there fam and welcome back to my channel. This is Gloria, also known as Life is Glory B. And today, in light of New Year's and New Year's Eve, I decided I would show you guys a few things that I would consider wearing for New Year's Eve or even New Year's Day. Because some people do celebrate on the New Year's Day itself. I've gone to quite a few day parties in New Year's. All right, so I decided to, you know, set the mood, like candle, you know, set up my little area here. I'm actually in my bedroom because that's where all the light comes in. And I'm sipping on some rosé by Casereo Diablo. That's the name of the wine brand. I sometimes really do a number on their name, but I'll put the name of the brand on the screen. It's a wine brand that I've worked with before love their wines i completed the red and now I've moved on to the rosé i prefer a red but my second choice would always be a rosé if i'm choosing a wine so this beautiful number is from asos i can't remember the price but i'll leave that if i can on the screen or definitely in the description box and of course leave links to this dress in case you are interested in a dress like this uh, whether it's for new year's or another occasion i love the color peach is very flattering on most skin tones is this peach i call it peach but maybe you guys might call it something else um whatever color you're calling it please let me know in the comments if i have it correct or if you call it something else i often get confused by colors because it's not as simple as red yellow and green anymore <laughs> or blue colors are vast they're vast um, types of colors they're named after fruits and vegetables and whatnot so a girl can't keep up i also paired it with this sequin purse that i probably got from Aldo's or DSW. Don't know which one, but I've had it for numerous years. And for some reason, those two stores are standing out in my mind as the places I would have picked it up from. Or even Century 21. That used to be my go-to store. My God, I miss Century 21. The best stores are closed down. And I'm rambling, I'm veering off of the topic. But do you remember Daffy's? Now, if you are in the New York or East um, area, I think that some of you would have known of Daffy's, another great store. Always had beautiful designer pieces for less. And I miss Daffy's and Century 21. Like, you know. That's why I've now been more interested in shopping online because I don't find the things I want when I walk into stores, really. Have anyone shopped the Zara sale, by the way? I tried looking on Zara's because they, you know, they launched this sale after Christmas on Boxing Day and I looked and I only saw things that were already sold out or weren't in my size that I wanted. So I was like, you know what, well, forget it. <laughs> it's not meant for me. I'm supposed to pay full price for the things that I'm looking for or I'm not supposed to like look for, look online for a sale just to buy something because it's a sale. So. It, either I want it or I'm not interested. Whether it's a sale or full price, I'm not interested. All right, so I also paired it with these shoes. Um, I'm probably gonna have to zoom in on these heels. These heels are by INC. I've had them now for maybe four or five years and I've worn the hell out of them. They are so comfortable. They're the perfect evening, evening heel. I would advise anyone, if they are still available, if you're looking for a very comfortable, um, sequined uh, sparkly heel in a silver or pewter gunmetal type of color this shoe this shoe is so good and it's very affordable well it depends on what you call affordable I think it was just over a hundred dollars it wasn't a lot these shoes are amazing that's why I love them I love the bow detail um, they are the perfect height and the sequins that are in them were just, I can't say enough about how much I love these shoes. Absolutely love them. So first look, let me know if you guys love this one. 
you know i love the fact that it has the feathers they move and shake when you move around i love the open back this one is a little bit this um uh, too big for me and i picked this up in a small i think i'll leave that size on the screen my size fluctuate i can never really tell people what my size is i'm usually a size four but I can go to a small, extra small, or sometimes I might have to go up to a medium, and it all depends on the fit or the make of that item. So I can never really quite say what my exact size is, but generally I would go for a small, but quite often I've had to go for extra small in order to get that fit in the waist that I'm looking for, that, you know, very snatched, you know, waistline. All right, so on to the next item. So I am back and this time we are in this pink cloud of a dress from H&M, the circular collab. I am obsessed with this dress. I don't know if I can part with it even though I'm not wearing it anywhere. I don't know if I'll ever wear it anywhere. But I love this dress so much, y'all. Maybe I'll get the chance to actually wear it out somewhere. It's a statement dress, y'all. If you want to have a conversation starter when you walk into a room, this is the dress, y'all. I decided to go with my Bayoko bag. I absolutely love how it worked with this. The shoes that I wore with it were just like almost identical in color. It's that pewter gunmetal kind of look on these shoes I've had forever. I've shown you guys for sure. If you're not new here, you would have seen these shoes at some point um in a previous video these are old i've had them forever got them from asos at a steal i probably paid like less than 20 dollars for them and these shoes just work with so many things i didn't think i'll ever get rid of them they aren't the most comfortable to walk in but they definitely are the perfect shoe to be dressed up or down really really love them they're pretty edgy i love that they have like this um metallic look to it and they have like some studs that go across the straps i'll should take them off and show you guys because honestly i don't know that i had a chance to really zoom in on them when i showed you guys the dress but yeah love these shoes so if i was going out for new year's i think this would be my number one pick i'm going to go try on one last look and then i have a few things that i need to show you from Della Moda NYC. I just received a package from her. Don't know what's in there, but she sent me over a few things and I'm so excited to open up the box. I also have a few things that I want to show you that I got for my two nieces for um, Christmas. They haven't gotten them yet because unfortunately we didn't get to meet up. We didn't get, I didn't get to spend Christmas with them, which I usually do. Jay was sick. Uh, and I didn't want to take the risk of going over there knowing that I was exposed to him. He doesn't have COVID, um, but at this point, when, when he started feeling sick, it was Christmas Day. And I was like, oh my God, if I go, he couldn't go for sure, knowing that he was sick. But if I went, if I was exposed to something like COVID, even the flu, I really didn't want to spread it. So I decided not to go with them uh, and spend the day with them. So I still have their Christmas gifts, which I love for myself. And I feel like I want to go buy them for myself if they're still available. So I'm going to show you guys those as well. Let me go show you the final look that I think I could wear for New Year's Eve. All right, so this is my final dress. I've got so many more options, but I decided to just keep it simple with three looks that you could possibly wear for the New Year's. Now this is perfect for New York City. If you wanted to, you can add up your tights. You're good to go. Like you can walk outside for support. If it's not super cold, you can definitely walk outside with this because it has the sleeves. I couldn't get it zipped all the way up. <laughs> That's the only problem since no one is here to help me zip it up. But you get the drift. This dress is from Misguided. Guys, I've had this dress for about three years or maybe two years. Actually, two years. I got it just as COVID started, like that year of COVID. Damn. 
COVID has been around for a long time. Yes, I got it in 2019. This is now 2021. And I've had this dress this long. Have not had a chance to wear it, but I absolutely love it. It's a body con. Listen, it snatches you in. <laughs> so, I mean, but you, the thing is you can wear a bra with it. You can wear a pair of pants if you feel like you want to cinch yourself in even tighter. Go for it. Do whatever makes you feel comfortable in a dress like this. I love the fact that it's very sexy without showing too much. So it shows your your figure because it's a body con, but there is nothing else really that revealing about the dress. What makes it even more sexy is the the garter um, that is added to the hem of the dress. That's what really sold me when I saw this dress. I love that the sleeves are very very long if you have longer arms you know sometimes that's a struggle and that's something that I often find an issue with when I buy garments with longer sleeves so I love that um, again I went ahead and I wore it with my Bayoko bag and these silver pumps that I've had from Zara's forever again so that's it for my New Year's Eve looks this beautiful white dress from Misguided that will be here until I get to wear it. Still has a tag in it, y'all. I haven't even taken out the tag. Somewhere back here. See? There's a tag that <laughs> it tucked in. Yeah, I don't tear tags out of my clothing or my clothes. I don't tear tags out until I really know that I'm ready to keep a garment. As long as I haven't worn it out, I seldom take that tag out. Because it comes with a tag, like especially if I want to sell it on Poshmark. When you sell something with a tag on, it does raise the value of the item. All right. So now let's get into the other stuff that I mentioned earlier. All right, so I'm back. So it's 3.48 and I started filming just before three. It's so dark, oh, I hate it. Extremely dark. The entire day has been gloomy. I don't know why, but it feels like if this winter has been the gloomiest winter ever. The weather hasn't been horrible, but it's like just been so dark and rainy and dreary looking. I don't even feel like we got that much rain, but it's just been super, super cloudy every single day. All right, so guys, I will show you in a cutaway what this looks like, like properly, but this jacket, oh my God. So this is a Nasty Gal leather jacket. It's not full leather, it's 100% leather. I think it was over $200. And it went down to less than $100. So I picked it up. It's actually a plus size. So I picked up the smallest size. This is a size 12. So this was the smallest size they had on the website. But I know that I am very much into that oversized look. So I didn't care. I figured why not try and see what it looks like. Guys, I absolutely love it. I love this so much. So... This will be good for a day like today if I wear like even this dress or a sweater under it. Mm, I will be comfortable with this. So I plan to get quite a bit of wearing out of this jacket. Again, it was on a very good sale. I am happy that I picked it up. I was on the fence about it. I said, oh my God, it might be so big. I don't know if it's gonna look good. And I remember asking JJ, it was like, listen, you can make it work. I love the fringes. Fringes are always going to be in. They're gonna come and they might wane a bit, but they'll always come back. And I like this kind of bone color. It's not quite white and it's not off white either. Love this so, so much. And what's beautiful is that it's 100% leather, which means it's going to last me for a very, very long time and probably look better as it ages. So, you know, with faux leather, what happens is that the leather, the, um, the material starts to um, fall apart eventually. And I've had like two or three faux leather jackets that I've had to throw away because of that. So, I feel like if I invest in a faux leather jacket going forward, it has to be something that is really, really edgy that I think I may not wear again for like in another couple of years, you know, as edgy styles are often the type that will only be around for that season and in the next couple of seasons you probably wouldn't want to wear it might look like it's outdated that's the kind of stuff that I would invest in 
that's the kind of money that's the type of item that i will pick up in a faux leather so but i have some faux leather pieces that are good like they have like i have an h&m faux leather pants and i've had it for about four years and it's still in really really good condition and people think that it's real leather very good quality that pants i don't know how they made that but it did a really good job but all of the faux leather jackets i've had have fallen apart every one of them they're all biker jackets by the way these two teddy coats that i got for my nieces so the gray one which i'll show you in a cutaway what it looks like on me this one is for my niece who's older oh it's Denisa, 29 i think <laughs> 20 or 29 she's almost 30 so this one is for her and then i got the green which is like a army green forest green i i don't know i love this one the most though absolutely love the green i like the length of the coat because i have a teddy coat that is fairly long in fact i have a few teddy coats that are long so i feel like i could definitely go with a shorter one this one is still fairly long though because it comes almost to the length of this dress so i think it would be a really good addition to my wardrobe i'm thinking about getting them when i got them they were all on sale i think less than 60 dollars for each of them so i thought they were a really good buy and the original prices were over 100 they each were like almost half price or less than half price off so happy with them love how they feel i know they're going to both love these coats absolutely love them i'll show you i'll definitely be leaving all of the links to these items in the description box in case any of you are interested so now let me get into the Dalamoda nyc unboxing and i will hopefully try these things on for you guys so that you can see what they look like All right, so this is the box. It's a heavy box. I don't know what's inside, so we're both going to see at the same time. By the way, I don't know if I mentioned to you guys before that um, the owner of Della Moda NYC, her mom recently passed away, so she was doing a huge sale. Um, I don't know if she was thinking of like closing out the um, website but I think maybe she's not anymore but don't quote me but she definitely has things still on the site okay so please go over and support her I will definitely leave her link to her um, website below and I do have a discount code I think it may still be working but if she has another sale that's better than my discount code and of course you use that I think it's 20 or 25 percent off that you will get with my code and I don't know if you can duplicate the code. Okay, first of all, this is a lot of stuff, girl. Her name is Janelle. Janelle, first of all, <laughs> this is a lot. But I need, I'm need. i going to go ahead and read the note you sent me, but let me get my glasses, first of all. It says, thank you, on the front. Oh my God. Oh my God. All right, I'm gonna read it, hopefully. If I'm going to read this out, if I feel like it's too personal, then you guys won't be hearing the entire message. I'll probably like cut out pieces of it. But it says, hey Gloria, thank you for sticking with me in 2021. It's been quite a year with small victories and lots of pain. I am a however, I know because she lost her mom. No, I'm tearing up reading this. I am however happy to watch you blossom into the natural influencer that you are. That's so sweet. Your hard work is surely paying off and I pray that 2022 will be the best year yet. Hopefully we can continue collaborating. I am working on a special collection with my mother's name on it. Oh my God, guys. You have got to support her on that one. Seriously. I'm demanding that you support her on that one. I will be supporting as well. It's getting kind of dark. 
Damn, I might have to turn the lights on. I hate having to do that. One, I have my um, vanity light on. Anyway, I digress. I hope it will do her justice. As she was such a fashionista in her own right and my biggest supporter. The items enclosed are a small token of my appreciation for everything you've done. I hope you like them. Thanks a million again and let's slay in 2022, Janelle. Thank you, Jay. Thank you so much, Janelle. Losing a loved one is not easy, y'all. It's not easy. And to know that she's pushed through it, that means a lot. Because she was going to close the website. She was taking everything so hard. Plus, you, when she was deciding on closing out the website, it was because the mom was, she hadn't passed away as yet. But it was so hard for her to like manage the website and still deal with you know taking care of her mom and all the needs that her mom would have had while she was sick but you know what we have to live each day the best that we can be the best that we can be good to people be kind be thoughtful just love and live y'all it's so easy to hold grudges and to home and like <laughs> waste our time being upset or you know it's a waste of time to hate it's a waste of time to hold people in your mind it's really important to forgive and, and I'm saying this because I know we all have our challenges and sometimes our biggest challenges are people the people in our lives the people we allow to be close to us and I'm saying that because I've been there um so 2022 let's all vow to be always kind and thoughtful and generous treat people the way we want to be treated treat people the way we expect to be treated all right now i can take off my glasses i feel like i need to turn the lights on hopefully everything still looks the way they're supposed to look when the lights are on god the winter <laughs> All right, does it look right, huh? I hope it does. All right, so let me start with the smallest item in the um, box. I might have to put my glasses on again. I'll keep them close by. Ooh, first up are these beautiful earrings. Oh, these are gonna be so cool. All right, I can't wait to sell these pieces for you. When I'm done, I'm going to try to put everything on so that you guys can get the initial look of what everything looks like. So this is going to be real quick. Me just looking at everything and then later on, I'll try them on for you. Ah, oh, these are perfect for now, y'all. Ooh, I love these. Absolutely love them. Perfect. I wish I had these before, like when I was doing my Christmas, all my Christmas reels, these would have been a part of them. So they came in a beautiful little pouch for oh, these cream vacay y'all so it has these this camouflage look to it but the main metal is gold of course my metal of choice and then oh all right let me get these out of here initially i just love how these look just from first glance sorry for all the noise i'm keeping with the plastic these are so nice i love these These are badass. These are badass. This is exactly how I think they're supposed to be worn. Guys, if I don't get to try everything on in this video, you will definitely see them in the upcoming video, okay? I promise. I promise. Wow, she said quite a few things. Thank you so much, Janelle. Thank you. Thank you, Delamora NYC. <laughs> All right, um, this is a denim piece. I see a lot of chain material on it. I'm not sure what it is. Could be a jacket, could be a bag. Who knows, I'm not sure. Okay, this is very edgy, y'all. 
It's a jacket. All right, now I can't wait to the spring because this is something that I can see myself wearing in the spring. It's so bad ass, right? Okay, no, this is one piece I can't wait to start. Next. Wow, girl, you outdid yourself. <laughs> you outdid yourself all these pieces. Thank you. Like, seriously? I can't believe you sent me so much things. And they all wrap so nicely. Okay, this is something that looks like it's in a faux leather. Oh, it's a jumper. Oh my God, I hope it can fit me. <laughs> It's so cute. Look at that top. All right. If this fits me, this is going to be worn really soon. I can definitely see myself rocking this with a nice blazer and a pair of boots. Ooh. It has like these wider legs, so it comes off like on a flare. I think this is going to look so good on me. I love a romper by the way. Something about a romper I absolutely love. It feels like it has a little bit of stretch which is very important. All right, this one I can't wait to try on. I might try it on for you guys before. I might not be able to try everything else but you see that? I want to try it on. Immediately. All the caramels and the browns y'all. What is this? I am not sure. When I look at it, I am not sure. Oh, it's another romper. I think. Guys, y'all need to help me here. Okay, this is one sleeve. I admit I'm confused. All right, so if I'm not mistaken, this is the back of this I have to put it on to figure out how it works because it's a skirt. It's a midi skirt that goes probably like close to your ankle and one half of it is literally missing. So I'm not sure how that works. Like is my, are my boobs gonna be covered up? I don't know, but we won't find out y'all. Oh wait, hold on. Ha! This fell out. I can see it now. I can totally see it. This is a look. This is going to be a look. Alright, I have a few more items. Bear with me. Oh my god, this video is going to be longer than I anticipated. That's why I don't know if I can try everything on. But I really promise you. I promise you, I'll come back really soon to show you guys how everything works on me. So this is a sleeveless. Um, it has shoulder pad sweater. I never owned one of these and I've always wanted one. So I really appreciate this one. Thank you so much, Janelle. This is perfect. And it's a perfect um, winter color as well. All right. Totally can wear that in the, summer, uh, in the winter, fall, and the spring. Oh, right. All right, this is the black sweat. Okay, it's a dress. And it has like a, what do I call it? It's like a suspender type of thing on the outside. Okay, this one I'm curious about. I don't know if I would wear it with the piece on the outside or if I would just wear it with a different belt. But I know it's meant to be worn with this. So I have to see how that reads on me. All right, this one I'm a little unsure. That's my first impression. I have to see. Okay, so this may be my favorite of all. It's a black cutout bodycon dress. With long sleeves. So I have a lot of cutout dresses for the summer or for the for you know like vacation, but I never had any for the winter. So I am so happy to have this one. I think I'm gonna wear it really, really soon. I love it. The material is very substantial. I love that it's the, you know, it's a rib knit. Absolutely love how it feels. It's so soft and it feels like it has a lot of stretch. 
yeah this is gonna fit really nice i can see that that's gonna give me a body yaddy yaddy oh yeah all right two more pieces coming up all right i've got to draw on this one you guys know how i feel about a slip dress right i love a slip dress and this one is like the perfect coloring the mixture of oranges and um browns and reds and wine this is so good i think it's gonna hit me just above my knee the back has like x's in the back oh it's like x so which means it's come down low in the back which is our vibe I completely i'm in thrall with this one guys more than likely everything here will be in a size small which is my size so if she sends me anything she usually sends it in a small i have the final item guys and then i'm gonna go quickly try these things on so once i try them on you will see them next to the item that i'm looking at i'll try to just put them in the cup away all right so this is like another silky type dress but in a white satin material it has the ruching of the sides um the elastic this one i have to see how it fits as well it looks like it is going to be a alternate type dress this is a very i think this is a style that you're seeing a lot of right now so can't go wrong with this dress that's for sure don't know the prices of any of these items so i am going to go ahead and link Della Moda NYC in the description box so you guys can go over if there's any of the items that you see me wearing that you were you are interested in of course feel free to use my discount code or if she already has a sale capitalize on it y'all please go ahead and support my girl support Della Moda NYC she and I we've been rocking together for maybe what maybe two years I think our relationship started back in, in during COVID time um, and I know her before you know she and I we worked together a long time ago at the same law firm and I have to support people that I know personally and even more so a black young <laughs> entrepreneur a black woman to be person. sometimes I'll say I'm supporting black women entrepreneurs and I don't want anyone to think that you know that I am against supporting other brands or or black men per se it's just that black women is, is black women they're the ones who are watching my videos mostly um, and they're the ones who are going to wear the things that I have so guys if you're watching do not take offense okay all right just a disclaimer here for any of you who may be watching right now all right guys i've been talking so long my throat is sore i have a little bit of wine left i'm gonna finish it up i do have to work out this evening hopefully i don't feel too sluggish for the workout because you know wine can do that to you it can make you feel so relaxed and my battery is dying so i'm gonna say my goodbyes now i want to wish you guys all the best for the new year i want to I want to thank you for rocking with me so far for 2021 a special thanks to all of the brands the black owned brands especially that wanted to collab with me who wanted to work with me thank you guys so much for trusting me to represent your brand a special thanks to Janelle of De La Moda NYC for sending over these beautiful pieces and for you know for choosing me to represent her brand you know because she could have chosen anyone else um i i'm just so grateful for the growth that i've had for this year and i'm so excited to see what is to come for 2022 and i hope that you guys are here with me i truly appreciate each and every one of you when i upload a video it would mean nothing if you aren't watching so if you guys are watching if you're here for me leave me a thumbs up and give me a little heart emoji or say something you know <laughs> so that i know that you are there and that you're here for me all right i will see you guys really really soon and hopefully i would have tried out a few things for you guys and include them in this video i mean the things from Della Moda in of course 
all right guys i love you and i will see you in the new year bye guys